Everybody, Alex Davis here. We're going to talk about a lure that I use a lot through post spawn all the way through the summer. As soon as the fish get off the beds and they go out to them ledges and start grouping up, um, the big spoons, a big uh, technique that came out last year. I mean, they always had the five and a half inch, but when this one came out, it kind of gave fish a different look. Uh, what we're going to talk about is actually customiz customizing these spoons. Um, I know a lot of people. I had problems with losing the losing fish, getting good hookups. I mean, this bait's so big fish comes up and jumps it's real easy to throw so I've done a few things to this bait that I feel that I can hook more and land more fish which puts more fish in the boat more money in your pocket what I did with this nickel spoon was I got a drill and I drill each side of it real close you got to watch when you're doing it you don't want to drill too close because you'll actually hit the edge of it and then you just have a hole so you come over about a sixteenth of an inch eighth of an inch you're gonna drill in on both sides get you the biggest split ring you can actually find. Um, these are actually saltwater split rings, that way they're real strong. I put the split ring on each side, I get a number one Gamagatsu hook. It's about, I think the best is about a number one. You can even get a one odd if you can get bigger. You just gotta worry about when you put them on there, you don't want the hook too big where it tangles every time. If, it, if you start having tangling issues when you're actually working the bait in, just downsize your hook. I try to go about an inch up on the bait when a fish does get this with three, if one, if he's got the main hook, these other hooks will actually get him in the side of the head, underneath the jaw. That way if one hook comes out, you still have another hook in him. Another good thing is if a, a six or seven pounder actually tries to get this whole spoon in there, all three hooks will pin his mouth shut. That way he can't, if he does come up and jump, he's not gonna get off. This is just one thing I do with this spoon. You can customize these things just to get you more landing percentage in the boat. So this is one thing I do. I think it's tremendously helped me out last year. It's something I do with all my big, big spoons now. Um, you should probably try this. I'm sure it's going to help you out. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check us out at psychobassmonkey.com and on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube as well.